What's going on, world? It's your boy A1 Aaron coming to you guys live with this video. I hope everybody's having an awesome day. Um, I know I am every day. I look forward to waking up, and I'm excited to uh, go at this thing like called life again, and you know, build my future and stuff. So, you know, today's video. We just gonna get into it. We're gonna get right to the meat and potatoes, guys. Human beings are the only species on planet Earth who don't act accordingly to their purpose or why they're here. And I'm gonna explain why. You look at a lion, you look at birds, you look at all these animals. Human beings can learn a a great amount if they study different animals and look at how they acted accordingly to their environment. So, human beings are the only species who don't act accordingly to their environment. And I understand that now we have so many things weighing against us, so it's a, it's a lot harder. I get it. We spend most of our time wasting it. I can say that because I'm one of those people who's, who's done it. We spend most of our time, we waste our time on the foolish things. You know, if, look at it like this. Your parents are the master teachers, right? They're your mentors. They're the first mentors that you encounter with when you come out the womb. That's who's teaching you. If your parents taught you from day one how to survive for the future when you become the adult you, you wouldn't have most of the problems you have now. So from some, for, for some of you parents, you need to teach your children the survival tactics they need before they get older and, they, and life hits them and they fall apart. Um, but your parents are your first mentors. You have to understand this. So we waste our time. We spend eight hours a day at a job. Some people spend more. I spend 24 hours a day at a job. You know, I've done some crazy things driving trucks. Um, we spend a chunk, a huge chunk of our time at school all right, college, all that stuff. We spend a huge time because I know everybody can't win. I get this. I know everybody won't get it. Some people disagree. But if your parents were entrepreneurs and they learned how money works and they set themselves up, they could have homeschooled you. They could have spent more time with you to change the cycle of your generation. And this is what I'm trying to do because I've seen the damage it does to children. You know, a parent not being there 100% of the time, you know, only partial, being a uh, part-time parent. Like, I, I've, I've seen it. We've seen what this can do to people and how it can destroy them in their future life. So, when you look at animals, like birds, look at birds, how they work together. You know, they, you know, they, they build their nests, or not even birds, let's just say bees. Bees work together, you know, they build a nest, you know, they they, they uh, protect the queen. They do everything they're supposed to do in their environment, even when the human beings are, are destroying their, their environment, their natural habitat, they still figure out a way to work together to build, to survive, to live. And they don't change the DNA code that's been coded to them. Human beings are the only species who keeps changing the DNA coded. Your creator molded you to be a certain way. He gave you a purpose in life to do certain things. But we're so caught up with, with, all, with, with all the other bullshit and nonsense in the world that we can't focus on our main objective, our purpose in life. When we look at our ancestors, they didn't do none of this fuckery shit that we're doing. They didn't do this stuff. This is not normal. It seems normal because you've been born into an environment that you think is normal when it's not normal. And I gave this example the other night to the team when I was talking to them. I said, what you have to remember is that, look at a lion. Look at the animals in the zoo. You have the zookeeper, which is the slave master. He programmed them to believe that this is the environment that they're supposed to live in, when it's really not. They're supposed to grow up in the wild, in the jungle. And automatically they have DNA code. They have a code that's DNA to them that they know how to do certain things automatically. But since the zookeeper has knocked them off course, they think that that environment is normal. 
people coming there taking pictures, people snatching their, taking their, their newborn from them, you know, they're, them, them being injected with stuff and all that crazy stuff. They think that stuff is normal, but it's not normal. It is not normal. Just like you think being broken, being in a struggle is normal when it's really not normal. This stuff is not normal. Even though I know we live in a time where it's harder, you still have to learn how to adapt like the bees do. The weather's changing all the time, but they still know how to adapt. Why is it that human beings can't figure out how to adapt to the environment? You have to learn how to adapt to the environment. And if you have children, you're breeding new, new, new blood, then you need to teach them from birth how to survive in this new environment that you're, that you're in. It's so important that you do this because what's gonna happen is they're gonna grow old. They're gonna get older just like you and I and life is gonna hit them, boom. And they're gonna be like, damn, mommy and daddy didn't prepare me for this. Damn, that's how I was. Whoa, 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 whoa. And that's how most of us are. You know, it's, it's, it's shocking to us, it's something new. So, hope you guys got something out this video today. Just know that this is not normal, so, uh, struggling, living paycheck to paycheck, not, not understanding money. It's not normal. Just know that you, was, you, you, you weren't prepped the proper way. And it's okay because nobody has to stay the same. You don't ever have to be the same again. You don't have to be the same person you were just two minutes ago. You can change that at any given time. So you have to understand how to adapt to this new environment. You have to figure it out because my, because your children are going to do what mommy and daddy do. So if they see mommy and daddy struggling, they think that's normal that you're supposed to struggle and not have nice things and, and not live a life of abundance. They think that's normal and it's not normal. Understand that. I'm a freedom fighter. Even though I know I will never be free on, on a level, uh, on a certain level, but I can make my life a lot easier. It doesn't have to be hard. We'll never be free, but I don't have to live life in a prison. I, could, I still can live outside of the boundaries that I have around me now. And you have to start believing that. You have to start believing that you're greater than that and that you're, 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 you're far more better than what average people keep telling you. You have to truly believe that. I'm telling you, it is, it, it is important to your life to discover your full potential, to challenge yourself. It's so important to your life. It's important to your children's life, to your children's future. Because what mommy and daddy do, kids are gonna do what mommy and daddy do. So if mommy and daddy sits home and watch TV all day, the kids are gonna sit home and watch TV all day. And when you tell them to go do their homework, they're gonna look at you like you have four heads. Because it doesn't make sense to them. Mommy and daddy's doing this, why can't I? I, I, like, I love my mother, she's awesome. I never knew about profanity until I was able to speak and I heard my mother with a filthy mouth. See, some of you women disrespect the father of your, of your children and you talk all this foul stuff in front of your children and when they get older, they talk foul. You gotta remember. And it's the same thing, vice versa. If a man is, if a man is talking down to a woman in front of his children, a child, a, a young man, Think that that's, thinks that's the way it's supposed to be, that he's supposed to control a woman, he's over her, and he's more powerful than her. So, we have to watch what we say to our children. See, some people say to me, well, hey, you don't have children, how, you don't have children, how can you say that? Well, I'm learning from you. I'm learning what not to do and what to do. I became a very conscious person. I started studying my history to truly understand who I was. And you should do the same. If you aren't willing to question your beliefs, how do you know that what they're telling you is the truth? And that's all I did was question my beliefs and really start looking into who I truly was. And I learned to have self-love and love myself a lot more. And it's hard loving yourself. It's very hard, even though it's you, because you've been programmed to not love yourself. You've been programmed to be insane, to, to be into this madness, to be angry. You've been programmed. It's not normal. So you have to get back to your roots. And even if you're back, even if you get back to your roots, and I know we live in a time where capitalism, you know, money is a is a main thing that we need to survive. You can still live righteous, <laughs> right? 
righteous and understand money and still make a decent amount of money to to provide for your, your family but being poor is not normal guys i'm not perfect all right i barely graduated high school but this goes to show you that anybody can change their lives i may not be the best speaker so what but i can get a message across it's all in here you got to believe that you could do better for you and your family this your boy a1 aaron guys I'm signing out. Y'all got my phone number. Call me, holla at me. People are awesome. All right, peace out.